Hey guys, I'm David. I'm Parker. And I'm Patrick. Today we'll be talking about movies. We'll be putting 90 seconds on the clock to talk about Whiplash, Pulp Fiction, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start. Okay, Whiplash. Patrick, what do you think about it? I really like it a lot. I thought it was very interesting. It has a very good character arc for both the supporting character, who's the teacher for the, the drummer, and the drummer himself. And I think that even though it doesn't completely delve into the whole romantic relationship that the drummer has with this other girl named Nicole, it really like displays his passion in a very interesting manner. And I like all the shots and just how determined he is to become a, a really good jazz musician drummer. Okay. So are you influenced more by the emotion of the work or the actual technical aspect of the work? I think the emotional, the passion, the character arcs. I think I care more about those. Those, those are more valuable to me than the cinematography and stuff. But the cinematography is still pretty good in my opinion. The one thing that I agree with there mm -hmm. is the character arc. Mm -hmm. The character arc is the only thing I liked about the movie. That's mm -hmm. the only thing. Hmm. It's the only thing I got from the movie. Hmm. The entire movie I felt uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, the dynamic between them and, like, how J.K. Simmons' character, Fletcher, he mm -hmm. was... Very intense, I think. I, was, I like that. He was that. extremely intense. I like that. It, it was, he's a good actor, mm -hmm. obviously, because of this role. Mm -hmm. he, he won an Oscar, too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, know. It's best supporting but actor. Like, it was just too much. You think it was too opinion. much? Yeah. You know, I've heard this movie been compared being compared to Black Swan and mm -hmm. as both both films are about the passion it takes to be an artist mm -hmm. and just the straight work and effort. And in Black Swan, the artist actually becomes destroyed. Do you think that do you think Whiplash exhibited just the like the sheer amount of work and like effort and how it can destroy yes, you? Yes, definitely. There's there are many scenes where it's him and he's just bloodied up because he's drumming so hard and it's difficult for him to get to where he wants to be. Mm. That's time. That's time. Okay. Wow, good movie. How do I stop it? What's up next? Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Time is on the clock. Let's go. So okay. I'm actually building off of the old one. Like you were saying like it was too much and it was overwhelming for the whiplash. And I think the, the, the Wolf of Wall Street is a prime example of excess in every regard, basically. But I think that is the point of the Wolf of Wall Street, to demonstrate Street. excess yeah. and why it is an absolute hindrance to the general society. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jordan Belfort mm -hmm. lived in absolute excess, and his character progression just shows just how detrimental it is to an individual mm -hmm. but not just in th to the individuals the people surrounding him mm -hmm. yeah i yep. think scorsese directed that right yeah yeah, yeah. Martin scorsese. i think Martin. he did a excellent job in just portraying like just how influential and how kind of powerful wealth can how influential and how powerful an effect wealth can hold in the person mm -hmm. you know um, yeah, Parker, do you have any things to say about it? Well, I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio's character mm -hmm. was excessive, mm -hmm. yes. But that was just the guy in real life. Yeah, but you don't think that the movie itself being like three hours long was like a drag and like Wait, too much, you know really what I mean? Three it was yeah, three but the long, fact that it didn't long. feel like it, it three hours. Like you don't think hours. so? I no. thought it felt like it... The fact that it didn't feel like three hours perfectly encapsulates how great a work it is cinematographically, you know what I mean? Like, looking straight up at shots the movie is exquisite in the way like it uh it portrays action detail 